Customers also have the option to use alerts to know when security events are in progress. So in this case, I'm going to go to all views and then you should access alerts. And in this case, customers uh, have the option to use predetermined alerts. Um, take into consideration that from the predetermined list, there are alerts that only professional services will have access to. But just to give you an example, I'm going to select the first one. Um, which is non-mitigated volumetric activity. And as you can see, it automatically filters based on rate and DOS anomaly and rate policies that may have alert, monitor, or allow actions, which are just giving visibility to traffic, not really enforcing any mitigation. And uh, you could find volumetric policies with these actions because maybe your customer is testing before moving to deny. Uh, the next step after the, your filters, it's going to the threshold, which is going to define under which conditions this alert will trigger. So if I add this number of requests, um, if more than 160 RAID or DOS anomaly requests are observed with uh, the conditions that we mentioned previously, monitor, alert, or allow actions for three minutes, um, and the same has had at least uh, three occurrences, then this alert will trigger. Um, so you could also set up a predetermined or actually pretty predefined sensitivity in this case that can go from low, medium or high for this particular alert that you're setting up. And then uh, last step will be for you to go to settings and then add the emails that should be getting um, not notified if this alert triggers triggers. So um, this is just for the predetermined alert. And then if customers also want to create their own alerts based on certain conditions uh, that they want to add to their filters, they have the option to do that as well. But again, uh, you will need to take into consideration what you'll be not notified about. So in this case, I do have a couple of filters. Um, customers could add additional things. So um, for example, I would like to be, in this case, notified about any WAF events related to this particular host name, but customers may use this uh, and add a, a, specific U, a specific URL. They would like to be notified uh, of WAF activity or maybe a specific rule within the WAF uh, rules that they would like to get notified if it ever triggers for a particular host name or a particular URL. So once you have made your selection uh, of uh, filters, you can copy them to your alert and basically go through the same steps, setting up the uh, whether you want to use the predefined sensitivity or change it, setting up the request um, and additional fields. And then, of course, provide a name to your alert and set up the emails that should be getting this notification if the alert is triggered.